Well, we can't have wine without food, and here in Sonoma, we're continuing on with our adventure here at J Vineyards. And I'm here with Eric Johnson, who is the executive chef, where food is a really big part of the experience here. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, the wines, I think, uh, Judy had in mind from the beginning that they would be uh, very food-friendly wines, and I have a lot of uh, diversity in wine as well to uh, play around with, so it's, uh, it's uh, not too restrained with the food that I have to do, which is great. So where do you get your inspiration from the menu? Um, the, the menu, most of the inspiration is uh, purely just seasonality. Um, we just, uh, I work with a handful of uh, farmers here locally in town, and uh, we just keep with everything seasonal. Um, and then, uh, and then of course the wines that we just combine. Now we start with that. That's sort of the uh, canvas, I guess. And then from there we just sort of work out the intricacies of every dish, and, um, look at flavors and textures as well. Textures are really important. You know, I know we've not eaten yet, um, but I wanted to see. Indulge us and show us a little preview about what we are going to be eating today. Um, I see this gorgeous oyster dish here. Um, what do we have there? Yeah, here we have. Uh, so with the, the oyster, the actual shell itself, we got Miyagi oysters coming out of uh, Tamales Bay. Uh, we make a little uh, panna cotta out of the, um, the that oyster that's on the bottom of the dish. Um, then we have Shikoku oysters uh, from Washington. Nice, clean flavored oyster. Uh, nice, meaty texture as well as when we pick those. With that, we're doing an escabeche, which basically is just a, um, a, qu a quick pickle. So uh, we make the escabeche uh, liquid out of uh, local seaweed. Seaweed here is from um, Sonoma County or Sonoma Coast. Uh, we make up a dashi, basically, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of seaweed. Uh, we also use bear jus, which is a little bit of nice well, um, uh, sort of acid in it. It's really nice. And, um, Wine is the virtue from the vineyard? Um, not a beer. Uh, it is uh, local. We don't make virtue. We get it from another winery that actually makes it. Um, we have a, uh, a little uh, fennel pollen that we have a texture as well on top. Um, we caddy that. Um, just a little crisp as well as some nice aromas. Um, we harvest that wild. Um, all of it grows all over the place in Sonoma County. Then also we have a little uh, daikon radish for a nice, uh, it's refreshing, crisp. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> so we're going to start with a little, uh, little sauce here. This little sauce is a fondue we made out of pepato. It's a local cheese. Uh, Bellwether Farms. Nice little peppery flavor. It's a sheep's cheese, so it's a uh, nice town. So we're going to pump this here. Wow, you're using that to I love that. It's the bottom of the dish, yeah, exactly. So like I was saying earlier, the, um, a lot of uh, wine pairing is also texture, so it's kind of fun to have a little like, area texture. So we're going to have, um, do you want to go? Yeah, I love texture. Okay. So would you like me to take this right on top? Right on top. Okay. Do you want me to do it with a spoon or with a culture uh, With a spoon. With a spoon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Tomals blends into almost the same, a lot of the same colors. I almost did this dish originally just using the um, mushrooms as the pasta. Because I think the black trumpets almost have a kind of pasta. They do, they have like a good party texture to them. But you know, if you get pasta, pasta. Yeah, and we got the black garlic also. It's really nice to pair. So we got that. Now, so this is kind of plant carbon yard. We got our cheese element. We got uh, a little bit of the bacon. Um, but you need your egg. So the egg, we're gonna do it in the cured form. So we just cure these egg yolks just like you would um, shampoo or something for shampoo. What's an egg yolk? It's an egg yolk. So we can create this. The egg yolk solidifies basically when you cure it. Right. So we're gonna grate it just like you would cheese. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna grate it and we're gonna put it on the grill. Okay. Yeah.